Okay, so I've been holding off on this for a while. I could have been like everybody else, jumped the gun and went on this. But now that Everlast has come out taking the blame for a bad batch of gloves since the Terrence Crawford, I will respond to this. But before I get into that, hit the thumbs up, sub, and notification bell. That way you get updated when I drop the news content like this. That being said, let's get into the video. So first and foremost, do I think these gloves were tampered with? From the looks of it, if these are truly his gloves, I would say no. Only because with the leather is missing, you don't see padding missing. You see the full padding there in the picture. However, I will say it's a very bad look that the referee caught it. She took it over to the commission. The commission said it was okay. And in that same very round where his gloves busted, he got the knockout. That's a very bad look. Now, I will add to that and also say this. I have seen people have to change their gloves before coming to the ring, while coming to the ring, and in the ring at the start of the fight. What I've never seen is the middle of a fight, a glove gets switched out. Normally, there's only 60 seconds in between rounds, and they normally don't switch gloves because that would extend the rest time. So if one fighter had an advantage over the other, he would get enough rest to recuperate, and the advantage would become much smaller. Now, should these gloves have been switched out? More than likely, yes. And I only say that because while it does appear that all the padding is there, again, I will say it is a bad look that the same round where the gloves busted, he got the knockout. Is it possible that the padding slipped around and David Avenesian ran into bare knuckles? I would say nothing is out of the world of possibilities. Also, <clears throat> These gloves in this picture, in my opinion, do not look like they were worn the night of the fight. They look like they've been worn several times. Now, I don't know if these are the actual gloves from the fight because I missed the fight. I saw the highlights of the fight, but these gloves look very dull. They look very worn out. And the gloves that Crawford had on in the ring, they were shiny. I mean, you could see that they were pristine looking. The light was bouncing off of it. This right here, the light is absorbing into the gloves. So I don't know if it's the gloves from the fight or not. The markings look the same. But then again, it's nothing to buy a pair of gloves that are, you know, similar in style, similar in color and forge the same bus marks just to get some type of notoriety off of something. So, again, I don't know if this is a legit picture. I don't know if it's a doctor picture. I don't know if these are the same gloves. Or somebody else took some gloves, tarnished them, made them look used, and then put the same distress marks on it. I don't know. But I don't believe Terrence Crawford is a cheater. I don't believe Terrence Crawford would intentionally do anything like that because he's never been caught in any controversy before. Now, I know people can bring up like Margarito. Margarito never got caught in anything until he did. That is true. But Margarito was a very dirty fighter even before he got caught with the loaded wraps. He was dirty, period. I've never really seen Terrence Crawford as a dirty fighter. And he's so talented that I don't believe he would need to cheat. Is it possible that he did? Yes. But I don't think he did. I would more or less lean to the side of what Everlast said that it was a bad batch of gloves, even though the likelihoods of that are very slim to none. But still... I think going forward, fights, we need to have gloves change, whether it's the sixth round or the 11th round, whether it's the second, fourth round. It does not matter. Like if gloves bust open like this at the seams, then hey, it is what it is. Crawford had the advantage over Avenesian. Too bad. Your gloves messed up. It's time for Aven Avenesian to get the rest that he needs and get you new gloves on your hands. Because again, to me, the worst look about all of this is the fact that the knockout happened in the same round that the gloves were busted in. That's a very bad look and it's a safety risk. It's a health risk that needs to be addressed going forward. Again, I will restate, I have never seen gloves change in the middle of a fight. If anybody's got footage, if anybody's got records of it, then please let me know. But I've never seen it happen during the match. I've only seen it before. And like I said, whether that was in the locker room, locker room, walking to the ring, getting in the ring, period. But I've never seen gloves switched out during the fight. So this is something this fight has brought to light and it needs to change. 
So again, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. But I think a lot of this is coming from Earl Spence fangirls who are terrified shitless of Terrence Crawford and knocking out their king, Earl Spence Jr. That's really what I think it is. But again, policies need to change. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section below.